Hi guys, Scuffy Spurstal here, back with another video. In today's video, we'll be talking about Hugo Lloris's future at the club as he's now 34 and this is his 10th season at the club. So we'll be discussing um, potential replacements for Lloris and when will be the right time for him to leave. Please stay watching until the very end to find out all the info about Lloris, uh, my opinion, your opinion. Um, and just some general facts over his career that I've um, been looking up for you guys. Please smash that subscribe button if you're new for Spurs content 24-7. Thank you. Let's crack into today's video though. Um, so I'm going to read you some stats of Hugo Lloris' career at Tottenham. Firstly, start with his career in the Premier League, so that's for us. Um, he has made 309 appearances and 108 clean sheets. I think that that's incredible. Um... He was born on the 26th of December 1986, so he's now 34. Um, he joined in, joined on the 31st of August 2012. Um, he's been here over nine years. This is his 10th season at the club. I'd like to point out his birthday is on the 26th of December, as I said, and that is my birthday as well. So that's something we share in common. Um, his stats this season, and bear in mind we had, uh, haven't started the season well because of the rain under Nuno went wrong. Um, so it shouldn't be too good. It's actually surprisingly all right. Stats of the season, um, say he saved six, he saved 66% of all shots against him, so it's a 66% success rate, um, save rate. Four clean sheets this season, um, passes, 68.9% success rate of um, passes, uh, long passes, 44.7%, and that's, that's good comparing how hard um, long balls are, that's definitely above the uh, average. 250 total passes um, this season, that's all, That's good for a goalkeeper. 177 successful passes, which is um, the majority. 990 minutes played this season, which I think is every single minute of this season. 92% um, pass accuracy against Everton, and that I find amazing. Um, so, Lloris is into his 10th season this season at the club. He is age 34 and people are talking about his future at the club and will be over the next couple of months and as we go into the summer, if he's not sold in January. Um, Lloris is still a fantastic keeper and has saved us a lot this season, but there is some point we've got to think of a potential replacement. Um, we've got obviously signed Gallini, that was vital to replace Joe Hart. Uh, it was important we got that swap because if, if we can't find a keeper, uh, Gallini wouldn't be the end of the world. Um, but I know Jordan Pickford um, is linked with us. Um, I think Jordan Pickford will be good replacement, if you like, for Lloris. Not losing too much, but um, Lloris is definitely the better goalkeeper. Um, Pickford has has his struggles, but he won't come cheap. I think Pickford will come around fifty million. Um, so I won't get Lloris and let won't get rid of Lloris unless we had to um, until the summer. Um, he's been a fantastic keeper and I just want to thank him for his um, over nine years at the club. This is his 10th season now. He's been a real loyal servant. And as I said there, 309 appearances and 108 clean sheets. That's an amazing record. Um, he, came, he came into Spurs training ground with that um, 300 appearances like picture frame. Um, fantastic keeper, really loyal to the club and I want to thank him for everything he's done. Um, it'd be sad, very, very sad to see him go. Um, I remember... When I was young, started watching football uh, eight, nine years ago. Um, he was in, still in that team and he's an exceptional goalkeeper and he's just got better and better, saving us year after year, season after season. Um, incredible keeper. And yeah, so Pickford has been mentioned in the name to ideal replacement. So at the moment, we've got Pickford and Sam Johnson who have been mentioned. Um, we've got a couple of other teams competing for Sam Johnson's signature. Uh, Jordan Pickford's a good keeper. Um, don't get me wrong, but 50 million is a lot, and at the moment he's just a all right keeper. Um, we may be stuck with Gallini, but I would not get rid of Lloris in January. Um, I think he's vital we keep him to the end of the season, especially if we want top four this season. He's a key part of that. Um, he's been a key part of this team, key part under Pochettino. Uh, he's played with so many different managers. Um, great character, great person. I just want to thank him for all he's done for the club. Thank you for watching this video. I hope I answered all your questions and concerns over Lurius's future. So you've got my opinion. I'd keep until the end of the season. But he's linked away in January. Um, and will be a lot of talk within the next two months or so. Of him leaving and up until the summer if he doesn't go. Um, age of 34 now. But keepers do go up to a bit longer. Um, so as I said, I'd give it to the summer. 
And if he still kept up his fitness level, still wants to stay, I would keep Lloris for longer. I really want to keep Lloris for longer. If he's if he's up to it, I'd keep him for another two or three years. If he's up to the challenge, um, I think he's an incredible keeper and I hope nobody wants to replace him because they don't think he's good enough. Because for me, at the moment, he's certainly one of the best goalkeepers in the league. Um, this season, I could be the best. I think he's definitely one of the best keepers in the world. I really do rate Lloris. I said a... Thank you for his um, time at Tottenham. I really want this journey to continue. It hasn't finished yet. I want him to be under the Antonio Conte era um, and get that trophy, which lots of people, a lot of fans deserve, our players deserve, uh, the club deserves. So it'd be great to get that. Thank you for watching this video. As I said at the start of the video, please smash that subscribe button if you're new for Spurs content 24 7, wherever it's Spurs news, confirmed lineups, team news, player ratings, post match reaction, predicted lineup, predicted score. Uh, injury news, team news, ch anything, chat, anything. I have it all covered with me so you can sit back and relax and sit in the best seat in the house. Thank you. And as always, come on you Spurs.